Hey guys, I'm Matt the Woodshed Barber, and today we're going to talk about the TPOB Troll Clipper this time. So, I, I knew that I would probably do this. Um, I was not disappointed with the Yeti, per se, but I was underwhelmed. I thought that it would be a more all-around clipper, so I followed up on what I said I might do, and I ended up getting the Troll Clipper. And I've been working with this for a couple, uh, probably about maybe a week, week and a half now. And guys, I've got to say, it's not what I thought it was. It's a lot of what I thought it was, but it's also a lot more than that. So let's get into this and let's talk about power. Pop the hood to Jay-Z and no shit. So the power on this thing is very surprising. Uh, I mean, it is, it goes through hair like nothing else. The motor that they use on this thing is a high torque digital motor kind of like what's in this. However, it just works altogether different. It has the same RPM, so 6,800 RPMs, but listen to the difference on this. That's such a better noise. I know that sound is not the be all end all for everybody, but I've actually really liked the way clippers cut and I refuse to use them because of the way they sound. So that being what it is same rpms so it makes you think oh it just is it a weaker clipper no it goes through hair exactly like the low pro does just goes through it powers through it and on top of that they put a four hour runtime battery in this thing man i mean it's uh, they i think they're uh, kind of trolling the low pro if you know what i mean i was very impressed it's not a subtle clipper at all uh and i'll give some more thoughts about that here in a minute but as far as power goes guys this thing's a 9 out of 10. I, it's i didn't see it bogged down with hardly anything i worked with i do think that it actually is it okay to say something is overpowered that is without a doubt the dumbest thing i've ever heard i, I don't know it, it's it's just a solid clipper guys so power 9 out of 10. you're in dire need of an upgrade systemic top to bottom 100 point restoration so this is where it gets thrown off a little, little bit design wise and the, there's some well you'll see um looking at the the click lever the power button the way that the bottom feels you would think kind of like the troll trimmer that it's just oh it's just a clone of the the low pro clipper from babyless no, it's not. It's, I will say, I mean, it's, it's got a lot of things in common with it. The shape of the taper arm, the way that the clicks move, it's very similar. However, where this thing takes it to a whole new level is the way it actually works. So, look, as far as the lids go, you can see they're a little different. Let's see if I can get that focused in there now. You can see that the lids are a little different. The low pro is definitely more low profile, but I mean, same size. Uh, it is lighter. It is lighter than the low pro FX. It does have a plastic lid, so you know it doesn't have that metal lid. But I think there's just something else going on with this. So once again, TPOB is so good about this. That flat black rubberized cover, I mean, I got it. I wanted to keep the green one on there, but once again, once I felt that, it's like, yeah, that's going on. But guys, it is a very top tier design clipper. So design wise, it's if this had this lid shape, it would be better. But 
I'm not going to knock it for this. I mean, it's for for what the price is and how it f works and form function design guys once again nine out of ten so the blade is where i was really impressed with this for one thing it does have the same kind of thicker deep tooth cutting blade that you see with babyliss so it's got really sharp deep cut teeth but it's got a very different it's got a very different taper blade that I've not seen before. Let me see if I can show this close up. It has kind of this curve around the outside of the blade. That's just so, I don't know what it is. It just, it, it, it feels good. It has a very sharp point to it. So zero gapping makes you feel like you're a little bit more intentional with this, with the taper. And just the way, I think that a taper blade is what the low pro FX was missing. And so the troll, tops that out it's the t just the tpob taper blade but this is my first time working with this and so guys blade as far as the taper blade goes and this is also going to be getting a 9 out of 10. this is a great blade yeah, because the way that my bank account is set up the thing is i got a check in the savings but all my money is in the savings i don't think my card is going to go through so cost wise now the other two tpob things i reviewed recently the troll trimmer and the yeti both i just ended up grabbing a great timely deal on amazon with those um i think both of them typically go for between 79 to 89 maybe even 99. i ended up getting this right here for 99. but for the kind of quality you're getting for that cost for one thing let's talk about it now granted you guys know me i love charging docks now i kind of gave the troll a little notch because of that little ding on the review because it didn't have a charging dock. Turns out after I, sent, I did that review, TPOB, the, the man himself contacted me just to let me know, hey, just so you know, dude, this is the last run of these. And after that, the new trolls will have charging docks. He listened, he listened. And I, I, I hear that from him and I'm thinking, dude is slaying this. So, comes with charging cable, will be coming with a charging dock later on, and has the flat black, the slime green, and the powerful pink, let's call it, clipper lids. So you get all that. Now, it does come with plastic guards that remind me of the Babyliss plastic guards that come with those. I don't touch those. I, I use either my wall premiums, my Babyliss premiums, or my, um, my Stylecraft dubs. The dubs did not work as well on this blade, but especially using the wall premiums on this, oh man, it's just perfect. But cost-wise, guys, this thing is a 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. If you are a young barber and you're looking for something that has some power, you like the low, the low pro type function, you like the clicks, you like all that stuff, but you want to get something that's going to be quieter, more powerful, in my opinion, better battery runtime, and just eats through hair, dude this is your clipper this is a great great find so cost 10 out of 10. they've done studies you know 60 percent of the time it works every time so like i said performance wise this is a lot like the low pro in the fact that it does have the same taper arm and clicks as the original low pro now who knows maybe the new troll that comes with the charging dock who knows maybe it comes with the you know the the longer swing arm the, the longer adjustable you know clicks there you go that's the word clicks that the influencer edition has and the fx1 will have if that's the case that's that's cool that's a perk but with this taper blade guys it's it's kind of a nice if the, i put it put it like this if the low pro came with this blade i think it would have been a much better performing blade slash clipper out of the box i hated the wedge blade but this thing, guys, it is just, I'm digging it. So performance-wise, went through everything, fantastic. Um, fading, it's, 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 a, it's a cutter. I mean, it's, it's not going to just be subtle and, and barely ease yourself into it. No, it cuts. So as far as that goes, man, performance, 9 out of 10. That's a win-win, man. So my overall thoughts for the TPOB Troll. 
it's a nine out of ten. I would say if once again, if you're a barber who is trying to be more budget conscious in this two hundred and twenty, two hundred and fifty dollar clipper world that we're in, if you're trying to be more thoughtful of that, this is a very, very, very good option for you. It's you know, for a hundred bucks, for less than the price of a magic clip, you are gonna be getting a premium feeling clipper. And with the clicks, with the accessories, with the great blade, with four hour runtime, I mean guys, this is this is a no brainer for you. If this is what you're looking for, here it is. Get the troll. Now, improvements they could make. Now I already mentioned he did confirm it's gonna come with a charging dock later on. Great, fantastic. It's nice to have a company that listens to us. As far as beyond that, I would say maybe reshape the lid a little bit. It's not an uncomfortable clipper lid. Uh, or even do what they did with the uh, the TPOB machete and just have it, or machete, if that's your thing. Um, just take the clear lid off or make it an option to where you can actually put the flat black on there so you get it feeling that way all throughout. That'd be nice. Um, maybe even having that little that little dip scoop right there. That'd be a cool improvement. But guys, I'm getting nitpicky with this thing because honestly, I'm having to find things wrong with it. It's it's that good of a clipper. So guys, overall thoughts, nine out of ten. Guys, thanks for watching, especially watching reviews like this. I really appreciate it. I'm trying to make these as honest and fair as I possibly can. I always joke about, you know, doesn't have this, doesn't have that. It's just all in good fun. I'm just trying to be real with you guys with my opinion. Now, what I think may not matter to you. That's cool. That's the fun of what we do with this. So, okay, once again, guys, I just want to say thank you for watching. Please click that like button, subscribe, comment down below. Let's have some more conversations like what we've been having on there. I try to answer every single one if I can, if there's a question. And let's keep this little barber community growing. Uh, we just hit 400 subscribers, which, I mean... For, for it being maybe five months into me seriously doing this more, I'm blown away. Um, 400 subscribers, that's big. Again, thank you for watching, and as always, I'll check you on the next one.